Around the minors with a major league feel as we look at some recent call-ups around the major leagues. I'm Pete McCarthy with our Oracle here at MLB.com, Jonathan Mayo. And Jonathan, let's start with Anthony Rendon of the Washington Nationals, a former number six overall pick in the 2011 draft. He's filling in for Ryan Zimmerman right now at third base. As soon as Zimmerman comes back from the DL, Rendon is expected to be sent down to the minors. But how close is he to starting to push to be a major league regular? I think this will be a nice sort of taste for him and a test to, to see how he handles it. You know, he really just hasn't had enough repetitions as a professional because of the injury problems he's had to, to really completely get a sense of, of where he is. Um, I, I think it, it'll be interesting to see if he you know can play well during this time that he's up. Uh, you know, as Ryan Zimmerman you know, continues to, to age and their concerns uh, about the shoulder and things of, of that nature. Uh, you know, there's talk that maybe he'll have to slide over to first and Rendon can play third. Uh, so it, this will be a sort of a test case in that, and I think a lot of people think that maybe he'll be ready by the second half. It was a big offseason for the Arizona Diamondbacks, one of their big acquisitions. Shortstop D.D. Gregorius, he's playing at the major league level right now. Actually had a very nice defensive play to uh, lock down a win for the Diamondbacks on Wednesday. We know about his defense, but he's hitting pretty well right now as well. Could his bat be better than expected? Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. You know, obviously you don't want to look too much into, you know, six games worth of action. And then he only played seven in, in the minors because uh, he was hurt. Uh, but he's always had a, a tremendous amount of tools. Uh, he's very athletic. Uh, and the question has always been just how much he will hit. Uh, but, you know, he's also still very young. He's only 23. And so things could start clicking into place. So, you know, I don't think he's going to hit, especially with this kind of power uh, as time goes on. But... With his ability to play defense and his ability to run the bases, he doesn't have to hit a ton, and I think he'll continue to do so. The Reds went to the minor leagues when Johnny Cueto went on the disabled list, called up Tony Singrani. He's been superb, 17 strikeouts in his first two starts. Could he stick around? It's almost hard to imagine that he wouldn't uh, at this point. You know, He was pretty close to being ready. He helped out of the bullpen last year, uh, and he has made an unbelievably quick rise as a guy who was a senior sign out of, out of Rice. And, uh, and and stuck as a starter. So kudos to the Reds for identifying his ability to start. Uh, you know, I don't know that he's going to keep striking out, you know, 11 guys for nine innings or whatever that uh, comes out to. But uh, he has got good stuff from, from the left side. The three pitches, he can throw them for strikes. And, and as you've seen uh, in his two starts so far, he, he's kind of fearless out there. And he goes right after hitters, whether it's uh, in the minors or in the big leagues. So uh, I think he's probably there to stay.